So, by the way, I'll keep going. Specific actions. What would be evidence of action and what would be evidence of success? And whose responsibility is it? Now, that, that's, if you like, what the plan might be. So, that, what the plan might look like. And even if your plan was going to be a unit of work that you might have stapled at the end of it, you'll still have something here. Can you have a talk about what will be your headings you know, for these columns? Because we're going to put stuff in them. And the first question is, what will be the headings um, to, do, to do that for there? So can you just have a talk about the table about what's going to be your headings? And by the way, they're going to be your headings for the rest of the day. But when you actually work with your teachers, my view would be you would also ask them this question. Is, OK, what's going to be at the cross, at the, across the top of our table? Can I interrupt that now, please? Um, I'm not trying to close that discussion off. It's just that I'm going to go on to the next bit will actually help you inform what you might be talking about there. But what you're going to have, and, and I think what it's sort of expected you'll have, is some sort of table that's going to have headings across the columns and stuff down here. OK, let's, so let's have a little bit of a talk about what might go down there. OK, what do you see as the key focus issues? like for the rows. And, uh, now, you might actually have one focus issue and you might have a few goals. But so what's going to be down here? Whatever you're calling this column here, the stuff you're going to do, like the, the particular things there. So well, what might this be? Oh, well, no, you can talk about it in a sec. Last, last time, we talked about pedagogy. The way you teach might be one of those focus areas. Numeracy might be one of the focus areas. Tasks might be one of the focus areas. Planning units might be one of the focus areas. That in a sense, OK, in order to achieve our goals, our focus is working together on planning units or something. But there's actually some big ideas, and, and we're actually, in day and two, probably now it'll be looked like day three, we'll do it. Collaborative approaches to the study of practice and using data effectively could be focus areas. And I think, by the way, you probably better have the using data effectively one in your plan. Because it's sort of the, it's a bit like the name of the game these days, but it actually's got a lot to offer. So, and I'll talk about how you might do that. But there's actually other issues that might be part of the plan. Is the, the, the focus issue, like there's the overall policy type issues. Now, um, some of the things that you've got to think about is that Probably the single most important determinant of the outcomes in mathematics and numeracy for the kids in the school is the number of minutes per week of lessons. The more minutes per week you have, the more the kids are going to learn. That's assuming you're using those effectively. So maybe your plan will actually have policy stuff. And you might actually say, our goal is to work, work towards getting one period a week from those bastards in English. Oh, no, sorry. Oh, you're not taking that, are you? Only <laughs> uh, kidding, only kidding. Um, but it might be the number of times you're going to meet. Um, the, when you're going to meet, it might be the way you're going to group your classes. There's a, there's a bunch of policy issues that you might say, we're going to work towards discussing and making recommendations about. So that's one of the things that you might choose to focus on. Uh, you might focus on curriculum issues. Okay. What is the scope and sequence of your curriculum? This school that I was talking about that I went to, uh, I had a look at their curriculum, and their curriculum was just a whole list of little topics. Like, that's not a curriculum. This is a list of topics. So, you know, what's the scope? What's the sequence? What are the big ideas? How are you going to document it? How are you going to communicate that to new teachers? You know, how are you going to record it? How are you going to improve it? It's a whole set of issues about improvement that you might like to think about. By the way, you don't necessarily have to choose all of these to do. Uh, resources. What resources do you need for teaching maths? You, know, you might say, you know, part of our plan is to develop a plan for the resources. And, and by the way, your, your principal, I'm sure, has more money than he or she knows how to spend and is just looking for good ideas on how to spend it. Now, they, they pretend they don't, but that... Anyone has got a plan, anyone's got, we've got a plan to do this, and if you can give us these resources, we'll be able to do it. 
If you've got a plan, you've got a much better chance of getting it. You know, the phys ed teacher is in there all the time saying, we need a new volleyball court, we need a new volleyball court, we need a new volleyball court. And all of a sudden they get a new volleyball court. You know, the, the, it's because that's the, that's the way schools work. Is you've actually got to, if you have a plan, you can then follow it. And, oh, sorry. Okay. Um, so what are the, now, by the way, I just want to go through... Again, in terms of the issues, I asked last time, what are the main challenges in your school? Now, these might be focus issues. Now, you'll see we're starting to get too many issues. You've got to choose which things you're going to focus on. You said those were challenges. You said those were challenges. You know, inconsistent attendance. Well, you might say, we're going to work on a strategy for dealing with inconsistent attendance and we're going to harass the Year 8 coordinator to, to work on it as well. That might be your plan to do that. You know, student expectations and so on. You, know, we, you said these are the main challenges. Are the teachers aware of what to teach? Do they teach the, choose the tasks that help? You know, what's the teacher doing? You know, there's a, the issue of spoon feeding. These are things you said last time are the issues that make your teaching different, difficult. So they might be the things that you focus on in your plan. Okay, so what are... Okay, what my question to you is to talk about is what are the things down here that you're going to have? What are the big focus issues you know, that, that you're going to have, that you're going to focus on? And don't put 25 things down there because you can't do it, even though we did have a whole lot of issues there. So to some extent, you're going to sort of set up the template that you're going to fill in with the headings at the cross the top and the issues down the side. So can you now talk about what are the things that down the side that are going to be your port important challenges? Now, what I'm hoping that people are starting to do, because I, to me this is the, the first step in actually, to, well the first step is to have, once you've got your vision for where you're wanting to go, then you need to say, well in our plan, what are the headings that we need? And just in terms of some of the discussions that I've been part of, as there's a sort of another column that might be needed like research and, sorry, uh, resources and support you know, that you might specifically sort of include in there. Or they might, be the, they might even be specific actions to get the resources. Um, keep in mind, by the way, I just want to stress this, that the principals are going to go to meetings where Lena or someone's going to harass them about that plan. Now, what does... What does your principal want from you? Now, there's clearly only one thing your principal wants from you, is your principal wants you to make them look good. That's, that's what your job is, is to help them look good. So what's going to help them look good? Well, if you've got a plan, it's going to help them look good. And how are they going to repay you for the plan? They're going to help you to do it. That's, that's the way this stuff works. It's called managing up. It's really important. People write books on it that you've got to, that you've got to do it. So try to think about that. And that's why the plan is important. And that's why, in fact, that's why I'm sort of suggesting if you need, if you feel that you're not getting enough resources or enough meeting time or enough anything else, it's worth putting it in the plan because then you can actually say later on, the principal knows if you've got that in your plan and you don't get the resources, it's the principal's fault for not getting the resources, so that they, they, you actually get them on side in order to do that. And, uh, to do that. and if, if you're actually interested uh, in thinking about well, what's the number of minutes per week or per fortnight or however your timetable is grouped that you get for maths, and if you think that's not enough, well, it should be part of your plan, because then someone else is going to have to become involved. Anyway, so I'm assuming now you've got a vague idea of what those headings are, at least and you've got a vague idea of what's going to go down here. And by the way, just stressing, you're going to do that again with the, your teachers in the school. Decide that and decide this. Okay.